Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven, seven, cut. Good Ravens fam. So let's talk Ravens versus Jets. We did the defense. Now let's talk about offense. So we already know contract situation. As I said in my previous video, we ain't gonna talk about that, okay? Um, but the thing I'm looking forward to in this game, one, uh, I wanna see JK. I'm gonna just start off with the running back. I wanna see if JK is gonna, is he gonna play? We know he said he's gonna be ready by week one. Harv is saying, you know, he's looking decent. Then we have Lamar in the presser saying a couple of weeks. Could it be messing with people or not? Um, it's going to be interesting to find that out if he's going to play or not. Because we know we got Davis. We know we got Drake. Um, we know we know Justice Hill. It's, we just got a plethora of running backs. So I'm it's gonna be interesting to see if he suits up, if he's gonna play. We know we'll receive that word maybe an hour um before the game starts or 30 minutes before the game starts for you fantasy people. Fantasy football people. Um it's gonna be interesting. Uh me personally, I don't I really don't know. It's like um when I really give it some thought, I really don't know. Because he looks good in training, but you know that was before we didn't we didn't see him training this week. You know they don't show nothing when it's really action time. They don't show any anything really. So I don't know. I, I I'm gonna say no. I think we'll see him next week. I don't think we're gonna see him week one. I think we'll see him week two. I think Hobbs is going to play it safe. And the reason I say that is because the offensive line, Ronnie Stanley, he just got to practice. Last year, same kind of incident happened. Then they threw him out the week one, and he wasn't ready yet. But that could also cause damage to his ankle from throwing him out there so early. So Ronnie Stanley is not playing tomorrow. He's out. I won't be surprised until we see Ronnie Stanley maybe week three, week four, because they just want to make 100% sure this dude is ready because he's very crucial to this offensive line. Now, for as the wide receivers, the one thing the through the first series, I should say, I, I, I want to see how they're going to play it out. Because we know wide receiver one is Batman. Batman. We know wide receiver two. Now on the depth chart, they had, I believe it was Duvernay. But that was just a depth chart. You know, it's not accurate until the game time starts. So they could be throwing off their competitors. But me personally, I think it's um, D-Rob. Then my boy Prochet. Then Dev. Then wireless and all that stuff. So that's where I'm thinking it's at. But the first series, I'm going to be checking out who is out there at the wire receivers. Because that will let us know how they're going to do this thing. Because I believe Bateman, he's going to go off. I think he's going to do pretty good. Because I think, um, who they picked up? Reed, I think the, the, the Jets cornerback name is Reed, I believe. I think it's Reed. I think he's going to be on Bateman because he used to play with Seattle. And Sauce is going to be on D-Rob because Sauce always plays um, on the uh, the right side you know, for his offense. He's play on the right side. He play on the left side for his defense. So if you understand what I'm saying, so Bateman it's gonna oh, this show on my left on here on the camera. I forgot. So it's gonna be uh Bateman and then on the right side is gonna be D Rob. And that's where I think sauce is gonna be. Unless they have sauce 
Yes, Shadow Moon Bateman. That would be interesting to see. I don't believe that might happen, but it might be interesting if it does. Then we go to the tight ends. We know we got Mark Andrews, Mandrews. He he gonna do his thing. I know nobody gonna stop him. But for the second tight end, they have Nick Boyle, but we know it's Isaiah likely. Like even Nick Boyle knows it's Isaiah likely. <laughs> even he knows that. So it's just gonna that. Just both of them on the field at the same time. I can't wait to see that. Just, whew, that, that's nice. That's just, I wonder how that package will look. Bateman, Isaiah Likely, Mandrews, D-Rob. That's a pick your poison because we know D-Rob, if you ain't got no safety up there, we're going to have some Washington Commanders a lot. So that's going to be interesting. Then, um, you know, I can't wait to see uh, Greg Roman do some screen plays for uh, Pat. You know, he's going to have to do it. It, 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 it happened in preseason. You know it got to happen in real games. He, I got to do a screen to Pat for that one or two yards. We know it's going to happen. And we all going to be like, really? Because that's what G-Ro do. It doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. Then we go to the quarterback situation. We all seen Lamar just passing, doing all his stuff. In the offseason, doing with his passing coach, everything everybody says, Lamar's passing has improved. It's accurate, things such as that. We know he, he gained, well, I think, like 15 pounds of muscle or something like that. Um, Harv says he's faster. It's so many people that they just i don't know it just the four letter network uh fs1 they i was like he's gonna be slower since he uh, what if if they coaches says he's faster let's go with it let's just go with it it's like i don't i don't understand we see running backs bulk up get more muscle and stuff. We see some wide receivers bulk up and get in they speed. Sometimes it, sometimes it seems a little faster. Sometimes it does not. We're going to see that tomorrow. We're going to see it tomorrow. I believe same speed in my opinion. Some people are just generic freaks like that. Freaking look at uh, LeBron James. Look at this man's age. He bulked up still killing it greek freak that dude was a twig he bulked up he got faster <laughs> you know <laughs> so what the it doesn't make sense so that's why i'm like lamar is one of them generic freaks one of a kind and there's always people like that one of a kind so i think he's he's gonna be a lot better and just a just a little, just a little, little, little side note before I end this video, um, just something to think about. You you know I got my conspiracy. Just something to think about. Um, what if Lamar kills it all these weeks? We play the Bills. We seen what the Bills did to the Rams. You know, just week one. I, I'm not. Oh my God! I'm not one of them people. But what if he does some damage or he just kills it in that game? Would the Ravens just come to him with a little more than what he requested just to hurry up and try to get it signed or something like that? You know, even though they're not negotiating anymore, but you can't, hey, okay, this is what you wanted. We added more. Is that cool? Let's get this thing done. All he got to do is do a signature and that's it. Or holler at his mom about it. Hey, mom, can you let him know? Such and such. such. That's a thought. That's a thought. Anyway. So, tell me what y'all think of the score. Score, final score, Jets, Ravens, Ravens, Jets. I have Ravens, I'm going to say 30. I'm going to give it just a 30. 30 to 14. 30 to 17. Yeah, 30 to 17. Let me 
Hawks here. Because I got a feeling Hawks might want to do a two-point conversion because that's what Hawks do sometimes just for no reason. He just do crazy things like that. Is that my final score? Let me see. I got the Jets getting 17. Hmm. Because the Ravens are winning. Because last time they played them, when was that? Let's look this up. I seen it was like 2019, I think. I think it was 2019. The score was just, oh, God. Um, Here we go. The score was like 40-something. I think the Ravens scored 40-something. Let's see. NFL, the film got so much ad, ad, ads. They just, ugh. Uh, let's see where it shows. Um, It's not showing me right now. Okay, but I have, okay, just getting 17. Okay. I have Ravens getting 28. 28. Oh, see, yeah, last time, okay, just popped up. Last time we played them was December 12, 2019. Ravens beat them 42 to 21. Yeah. The Baltimore Ravens okay, that made me change my my score, okay? um, Yeah, and we know what happened in 2019. I believe this is going to be a similar year. So I have the Ravens getting 36 plus. Jet 17. 36 plus Jet 17. That, that's my score. So, what's y'all score? What's y'all score? Tell me in the comments. Let's see who gets it. Who gets it close? Who gets it close? We can have a poll too if y'all would like that too. And also, quick one before I leave, before the end of the video, what color jersey y'all wearing? Just put that out there. And what, what should I rock? Should I rock the Lamar? Should I rock the old school baby, which is 12? Should I rock an old school Ray Lewis? I haven't rocked that in a long time. And let me think. I think. Or should I rock the 22? But Jimmy Smith, but we know, I believe that's Pepe right now. Shout out to Pepe. I think he's going to do good tomorrow as well. I didn't put that in my defense video, but yeah. So, y'all tell me, which one should I rock? Which one should I rock?